Hey champions, Arian Tyson here. Feel free to like, comment, and share this video. When I woke up this morning, this question just popped in my head. And I really had to ask myself this question. And I, I said, I'm gonna shoot a video and I'm gonna ask you the same question. My question is, what are you living for? What are you living for? And what I've noticed is that people have a variety of reasons why they're living. Some people say they're living, you know, for the for their kids. Some people say they're living because it, it, it beats dying. Some people even say they're li they're living to please to please God. And but then I ask them again, what are you living for? And they'll give me this blank look like I don't know what you're talking about. Here's what I mean by when I ask that question. Some people think they're living when they're merely, when they're merely existing. If you're someone that lives for the approval of others, that does what is quote unquote expected of them, you're not actually living, you're just actually existing. Why do I say that? Because for a long time, I thought I was living and I was merely existing. Our living should be to leave an impact and be a blessing to others. That's what we should be living for. The problem is most people are not living for that. Most people get caught up in their own selfish ambitions. But I'm all for, you know, advancing your standard of living, so on and so forth. But if you're not willing to help others do the same, if you're not willing to pay it forward, then you're not really living. You're just existing. You have to pay it forward because you learn from somewhere. And I'm not saying, you know, I'm not necessarily saying, you know, share your money or anything, but there's nothing wrong with being philanthropic. There's nothing wrong with it. And you see a lot of um, a lot of celebrities, a lot of a lot of millionaires, billionaires, um, actually do a lot of charity charity work. A lot of they give a lot of uh, charitable contributions. And you know, honestly, they do it for tax purposes. But you know, I'm not a, I'm not a tax professional, so on and so forth. But you really have to ask yourself, what are you living for? You know, are you living to leave a legacy? Are you living to make an impact? Are you living to set a standard for your kids and kids' kids to follow? You know, are you are you living to just make a living or are you living to actually build wealth? And One thing that I, I, I know that I've studied about those that are wealthy is that they don't keep it all. They they make it, they they earn it, and then obviously they do what they what they would like to do, but then they actually help others. Whether it's teaching them how to do it. Whether it's, you know, giving back to their community. Because in order for you 
to to get to the point where you're living, someone had to someone had to invest in you. Whether it's from a teaching aspect, so on and so forth. Someone invested in you. And so you have to be willing to invest in others. Because nobody wants to have money, have, nobody wants to work for money for the rest of their life. The wealthy, they, they learned and they mastered how to have money working for them. And that's where you got to get to. That's where, that's ultimately where we should be going. So as you go through your day today, ask yourself, what are you, what are you really living for? What are you living for? Because you may surprise yourself. You actually may surprise yourself. So I just wanted to share that with you. If you got value from it, feel free to like, comment, and share this video. And remember in life you have two choices. You can make moves or you can make excuses. But you most certainly cannot do both. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.